my name's Tom Liptrot, and I'm a, I'm a data scientist. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, data science was um, a thing that was first invented in California about 10 years ago. Um, and along with uh, surfing, um, hippies, and vaginal steaming, it spread all, all over the world. <laughs> um, and so, the, Dead Scientist was named um, the sexiest job of the 21st century, which you might might, might not have heard, but... Um, <laughs> and, and, I, and I think from, from people's responses when I tell them what I do, I think it hasn't spread very far in this, this news. So please, can you spread this news around when you meet new people to tell, tell them about it? Um, so you might you might have heard about the AI takeover, about about thing artificial intelligence sort of taking over the world and becoming very intelligent. Um, this is mostly bullshit. Um, <laughs> what 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 I found mostly is that the people who say that have some kind of interest in it in it being true, and that when you kind of look behind the the reality of it, mostly what you get is very kind of badly written code, failed experiments, and occasionally things that just about work. Um, but for some reason, it's become one of the most in-demand skills of the of the, um, of, of, of the recent times. Um, so a, a data scientist is basically just a statistician who, with, who's got good PR. <laughs> um, and what's a statistician? So a, a mathematician who's not that good at maths. <laughs> um, I, I started off as a mathematician. <laughs> Found that a bit hard. Be became a statistician, uh, and now I'm a data scientist. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> So yeah, um, I've always been interested in statistics because uh, I've always been a bit of an outlier. Um, <laughs> I was. <laughs> I, I was six foot eight when I was twelve, um, and, I, and I, I still am. <laughs> when, when I was about eight or nine in, in primary school. The, the teacher made me come up to the front of the class and try on her um, size 8 high heels <laughs> to, to demonstrate how, how freakish I was. <laughs> I think that's where I got my taste for standing up in front of crowds and doing silly things. <laughs> um, I have a, a, an 8 year old son who's um, also very tall, he's about the height, height of a 13 year old. Um, and he's, he's actually he's in the 99.99th percentile, which is the, the same as me. Um, um, and what that means is that if you got 10,000 random eight year old boys, he would probably be the tallest one. Um, although 10,000 random eight year old boys sounds kind of hellish to me. <laughs> or, or maybe a good name for a band. Um, so, um, anyone here heard of algorithms? Yeah, some algorithm fans in here. <laughs> um, great. <laughs> so, um, yeah, pe people, people kind of like to, to talk about algorithms a, a lot, and you hear, you know, that algorithms are are doing this or that, or you know, this app uses algorithms, or you know, people talk about algorithms doing fantastic things, or people ask me what I've been doing all week, and I tend to say, um, algorithms of, of some type. Um, but not many people know exactly what these are. So what, what, what they are is a, is a kind of um, a series of um, kind of simple steps that you'd give to a, a computer. Um, a bit like a recipe or the rules for a game or, or, or something like that. So they're usually fairly, fairly simple, small steps that get you to some output that you might want. So um, an algorithm for getting those 10,000 um, eight-year-old boys in, into height order um, might go something like this. Um, so you, you could say, everybody get in height order now! <laughs> Which, which might work. <laughs> but, but, but that might not be the best way of getting a computer to do that, that sort of thing. Um, an alternative way for getting um, pe people, that, that group, into, into height order would be to use an algorithm um, called quicksort. So, so the, way, 
that works is that you um, you get these. Say, say you want to get those ten thousand you know children into height order for for some reason. Um, <laughs> you would um, you you pick on one child at random from from those ten thousand, which from experience I know children are quite good at. Um, and, <laughs> and you you'd get all of the other children to compare themselves to that to that one child. And, and if we're trying to order them from the smallest down here to the kind of tallest up, up at this end, you'd, you'd get people who are smaller than that person to go down here into one group, and people who are taller to go up here into this group. And you'd have two groups of, of children. And then in, in that one, in, in each group, you'd go and do the same thing. You'd pick on another child at random, uh, and you'd, you'd compare each child, and the smaller ones would go down here, and the bigger ones here. And you keep doing that with each group that you've, you've created, <laughs> And, and quite quickly, you'd have a group that's in, in perfect order, going from smallest to largest. Hopefully with my son at this end, <laughs> in his rightful place, <laughs> towering over them. <laughs> um, and that, that algor algorithm is, is called um, quicksort. And pro probably every single one of you has got a copy of it in your phone, um, quietly sort of putting things in order in, in the background in some way. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so, so those the, um, computers are really good at that, that kind of thing. Um, so sort of doing, taking a lot of simple steps and coming to some sort of slightly more complex um, um, output. Um, so it's a bit like knitting or something like that, doing you know, lots of simple things and you end up with a jumper. Um, <laughs> but what, um, what computers tend not to be good at are the sorts of things that eight-year-olds find um, really easy, like uh, sort of mucking around in mud, or making silly noises, or annoying their parents, or claiming to be bored. Um, <laughs> And, and what, what a lot of what I and other data scientists do is try to make algorithms that make computers a bit more like children. So to, able to do things that, um, that, that, that children and, and people take for granted. Um, and there's been a lot of progress on that over the last few, few you know, decade or so, um, using algorithms and, and data to, to, to build those sorts of things. Um, but they're mostly not that good yet. So if, if you were to sort of order, um, you know, doing more sorting, all of, you know, everything into the order of kind of intelligence, um, with kind of stupid things at this end and very clever things at this end, a, artificial intelligence and algorithms would probably still be right down here, uh, followed by maybe the 10-year-old boys up here, uh, maybe vaginal steaming enthusiasts <laughs> up, up, up here. Um, bright, bright club attendees, pretty high up up here. <laughs> but after tonight, bright club attendees probably even further up at this end, at their rightful place at the head of the table. So everyone, you're safe from AI for now because it's got to get through 10,000 eight-year-old boys. <laughs> Some people with very sort of clean vaginas <laughs> and, and your past selves. So you're, you're, you're safe for now. Uh, so thank you very much.